Eric B's daily vlogs. I'm sticking to the theme, staying inside Golden Gate Park. You got some nice fresh flowers there. We're at the Queen Wilhelmina Garden for the big Dutch windmill right there and some tulips all right there it's a lot of people today it's a nice sunny day so we'll talk about this more on the other side of the break so let's get this started interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. I'm at the western end of Golden Gate Park. The very end, Ocean Beach, is just right up there. But I'm here for the flowers, the garden, the tulips, and the big Dutch windmill. That's right over there. It is pretty crowded today, and I did say yesterday I was going to try to hit some spots that's not too crowded, but today being a sunny, warm day, can't avoid it. So we're gonna go check out the flowers, check out the tulips, talk about this all on the other side. So let's go, let's go. I got Joe right here who's painting the nice windmill in the background on this nice sunny day. All right, Joe didn't want to be videotaped, so I got a little bit of him on camera. He said, no videos, please. But you can see all the tulips right here. I did go to the tulip festival not that long ago but again there is a lot of people here right now tulips everywhere tulips looks like it's gonna be growing all the way here as well but it's not blooming just yet and the tulips that I got during the tulip festivals were not this big or not this nice these are really vibrant and really colorful it's pretty cool but everyone's here for the tulips and the windmill right there it's pretty cool I wanted to walk around the whole garden right there and just show the, all the tulips but there's people lined up over there picnicking so I'm gonna try to hit some of the tulips where there's some space for me to go to like the ones in front of me all around in front and there's some in the back that I'm able to hit as well but this is a cool little area again it's free it's a lot of people here as you can tell look 360 Look at all the people here right now, all hanging out, enjoying Golden Gate Park and what Golden Gate Park has to offer. And I got the windmill right up there. Again, these are some massive tulips, bigger than the ones they were given out at the Tulip Festival. I'm sure it's illegal, so you cannot pick it. So don't come here saying, hey, Eric B said I can pick tulips at Golden Gate Park. Nope, Eric B did not say that. So you cannot pick tulips. But look at the size of that one right there. Look at the size of that one right there. These are just some massive tulips. You can look all the way inside. It's not going to motion or not going to focus. Oh, it does focus. That's pretty cool. I don't have quite a green thumb, so I don't know what the rest of these flowers are in this garden. Again, there could be tulips, there would be carnations. I don't think these are lilies, like this big one right here. Not sure what these are. Last time I came here, I talked about the windmill, which is right in front of me over there. Today, I'm talking about the flowers. That's all in this garden. It is pretty crowded today. It's kind of hard to get any shots here because everyone's looking at me and like, what's this guy doing? Yeah, I'm just trying to get pictures of the flowers and the tulips in the garden. But again, it's a little hard for me to do it. I stepped away from that busy grassy area and I came over to the backside because there are actually more tulips here. That's not getting that much sun, but it is pretty cool. So I'll show you guys these tulips right here. Again, a whole row of tulips. Some of them are not fully bloomed just yet. Some of them are bloomed and you can go all the way down that direction. You'll see more as I walk that way and looks like some people have stepped on them. Shame on you. Shouldn't even step on the garden. You can see right there. 
you gotta be respectful, especially these areas. But look at the tulips all right there. I think this is the perfect place to do a slow-mo. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'm gonna go try to hit that one area where the whole family was there hanging out and just trying to vlog in that spot. But it was very, very hard because they were all here. But look at these tulips right here. So where environment sun is at. They're all standing right here in the middle. So it was hard for me to just get a shot, even frame a shot. But this is a cool little area right here. And again, it's time for a slow-mo. You come here for the windmill, but you see all the tulips and the different types of plants and flowers that surround here. You see everybody just getting food, enjoying their meal, and checking out the nice tulips. And again, more different types of flowers up there. I think it's pretty cool. There's a sign. Please do not pick the flowers or walk into flower beds. No dogs or pets. No sport play. And whatever else it says back here, restrooms are located in the Great Highway. Eh, talking about the Beach Chalet, which is behind over here. But this is, again, one cool spot. And I came on a day that I said in the past vlogs, I want to stay away from crowded places. Yep, I lied. I thought I was going to coming to a spot and I thought it was going to be empty. It's towards the end of the day. The sun is 
setting and I thought if I came here today and checked this place out, there would be nobody here. There's people here. It's a lot of people here. A lot of people hanging out, a lot of people doing what they're doing. I mean, again, it's good for San Francisco. It's good for the tourism. It's good for what we have to offer. Again, it's free. So come get your food, have a little picnic, enjoy the tulips, enjoy the rest of the flowers that are here. It's cool. Maybe everybody's looking at me because I got my hair in pigtails. Maybe that's why they think I'm a little crazy. But this is a cool spot. Again, there's people just hanging out over there. I didn't want to go bother them. It looks like I'm some creep while people are trying to make out in the grass. People are trying to have picnics and enjoy their food with their family. I didn't want to come here and disrespect their privacy by filming them. But you got a nice cool shot of the windmill and then a nice cool shot of the tulips. Unlike the tulip festival that was in San Francisco, these are pretty cool. And just in case you are interested in the windmill, no signage for you to read. This is the North Dutch windmill, which is the western part of Golden Gate Park. And if you go to the southern west part of Golden Gate Park, you'll see the Murphy windmill. But this is cool. I told Joe, who was painting, who said, I don't want to be in a video, but you can take a picture. He was painting this windmill, but I told him about it. He skedaddled and he's gone. Probably went over there to the other side. It's a cool spot. Cool area. Very vibrant with all the colors, as you see here. Again, it's free. So if you're going to come check this place out, it's free to come in. Um, again, you got just the whole get here early. You get the whole park to yourself. Get here now on a nice sunny day. You're going to have to deal with people laying on the grass. I mean, it's first come, first serve. Share the wealth, I guess. All right, one last look. Queen Wilhelmina's Garden. I think I'm saying it right this time. Blew it earlier. But you got the nice tulips all over that goes around the whole garden. You got these other plants that I don't know what they're called. And then you have the Dutch windmill that overlooks the background. Again, it's a nice place to visit, nice little area. Whenever you're at the western part of Golden Gate Park, definitely check this out. All right, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. A nice little short adventure here at the Dutch windmill Queen Wilhelmina's Garden. I think I'm saying it right again. I have a tendency of blowing names, but this has been fun. It was a cool little spot to visit, a um, little cool area. Know before you go, there is parking, but just like every other part in San Francisco, just be careful. Make sure you keep all your stuff, your belongings with you. Um, park at your own risk is pretty much what it is. You shouldn't be here more than, you know, 20, 30 minutes if you want to take photos. Um, again, it's free. Picnic, be respectful. There's garbage, there's trash cans everywhere. So if you are going to have a picnic, clean up after yourself. Don't leave your garbage laying all over the place. One big tip, that's the big biggest tip I can you know, give you, keep San Francisco clean. Again, we're trying to share this park with tourists, with locals, with people that just live in the area. Enjoy it, enjoy it. But this has been cool. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Thumbs up, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys are liking the slow-mo that I'm adding in here. Still learning, still figuring things out, using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. You're doing a slow-mo in 4K 120. It's been fun. And those people whistling, the whole thing about Golden Gate Park and whistling. Talk about that on another, on another vlog. But this has been fun. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me comments down below. I'm still going to try to keep it low key this week, trying to come up to, to places where there's not a lot of tourists. Again, I didn't think there was going to be this many people here today, especially this time of the day. I thought there, I thought it would be a little empty, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I could, I could be wrong every now and then, right? I could be. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining me in my adventure. Thank you guys for always coming down and checking out my vlogs. Here from the Queen, Wilhelmina's Garden, the Dutch Windmill, the western part of Golden Gate Park. Thank you guys for watching. Vlogs ended. Go in peace.
made this.